How do large language models actually work? Say I have a question about who wrote the book Rabbit Run. I typically feed this into a large language model such as ChatGPT, Gemini, or Claude, and I would get my answer back of John Updike. But what actually happens in this middle step? A large language model is made up of a number of components, but it can be easily split up into three distinct sections. A pre-processing stage where the text is prepared and transformed from text to numerical vectors that the LLM can understand. A processing stage where the model interprets the input and forms an internal representation of its meaning. And finally, a post-processing stage where the model prepares its output for the user back from vectors to text. In the first part of our video, we took a look at the pre-processing stage, where we converted our input text into relative vector representations. In the second part of the video, we then fed our vector embeddings through transformer blocks to inject relevant contextual information from other words to give us updated vector representations, giving us a set of context-aware vectors, one for each word in our sequence. We now consider our final post-processing section. What we left our previous section with was a set of context-aware vectors. We now feed these vectors through our output layer. This means taking each one of the vectors, obtaining values for each potential next word, turning these into probabilities, and then selecting the most probable option. We remind ourselves that our ultimate goal in LLMs is to predict the next word or token. In our case, our input is our question and we want the first word of our answer. We can consider a potential output space which includes the 170 to 200,000 vocabulary of English words. So out of all the possible words in the English language, we want to figure out which one to choose. If we consider just a single vector, say for the word the in our input, and we run it through our output layer, then we get 170 to 200,000 values, one for each potential word in our output space, where each value in this particular vector represents how strongly the model thinks that particular word should be the next word, with a higher value meaning it believes more strongly in it being the next word. We can naturally turn these values into probabilities, where now each probability represents the likelihood of a given word in the output space being the next word after our given word the. We can sample this space to get probabilistic outcomes of the next word, or we can pick the most likely one. In this case, the most likely one would be book. We can then do this for each word in our sequence. However, looking back at our contextualized vectors, given that the output of our output layer gives us the likelihoods of the next word, the only vector in our context-aware vectors we really care about is our last vector, which represents the last word in our sequence. Then if we go through this process again with our last vector, author, we get the next word in our sequence and the first word in our answer, which is John. So to summarize our final output stage, we start with our context-aware vectors, obtain the values associated with each potential next word, convert them into probabilities, and then select our next word. And we do this over and over again until until we have our answer.